time for lunch today. We're tucking into beef cheek with creamed polenta. Mm. Dean Diplock from the Radisson Blue Hotel in Athlone has stayed with us despite us being <laughs> not so sold on the braised beef cheek. But you're about to turn it all around, Absolutely. Dean, aren't you? Absolutely. I've been telling you this all morning, so now's the time to prove it. All I've got in here is for our, for our polenta, some water and some milk. Bring that to a boil. What I've done is I've soaked. This polenta is not a pre-cooked polenta, so it does take a while to cook, between 20 and 40 minutes. But what I do is I soak it with water overnight and you halve the cooking time. Okay. So if you have that problem and you have time issue, that's the easiest way to okay. do it. Otherwise, you can, can buy polenta that's cooked in five minutes because it's already pre-steamed. So that's available in the shops. So in, this is a block that you bought it in, is it? No, this is just a, uh, a very fine um, maize powder. Okay. Uh, the best way to describe it would be along the lines of um, like a very fine couscous. Yes. Mm. Uh, along that line. So all I'm going to do is, this needs a cooking time. That's really all it really needs. So I'm going to just go over to one that I did earlier. But very simply, you can see it's starting to boil there. I put a little bit of salt and pepper into it. And do you put turn it, it down when it boils? You can turn it right down when it starts to boil and just simmer it and let it cook through. The starch is going to uh, swell up and get thicker and thicker and thicker. Here's one I made earlier. You can get an idea as to how it thickens up. Okay. All right. So in that now, all I really have is exactly the same ingredients, and I'm going to finish them off now with some Parmesan cheese. Okay. Uh, gives it a lovely little flavor to it. Why is polenta a good accompaniment for this dish? Um, it's, it, I can make a well like mashed potatoes, oh, yeah. and it can hold all the sauces to it. But it's a little, just a little bit different. Mashed potatoes works perfectly well as well. Chump mash works very nicely as well. It's a bit different though, isn't yeah. it? Just something a little different for a change. Uh, I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. These are sun-blushed tomatoes, not so quite sun-dried tomatoes. Um, and again, just to give us a little bit of flavour and some colour and texture to the polenta. Otherwise, it can be a little bland mm. and, and boring as such. And uh, then some chives. Again, flavour and colour, and well. colour uh, into it. Uh, we can finish it off with a bit of cream and, and butter as well, if you prefer. I find this is now uh, wet enough. I don't want to make that too wet now. So I'll just skip that. There is some milk in there as well already. So that's going to give you a lovely creamy polenta. You can leave out milk entirely and just do it with water mm -hmm. if you want to just go completely neutral. Um, but it doesn't give you that love, lovely rich flavour to it. Okay. okay. And now we're going to dish up. And we have a nice big serving bowl. So just to summarise, it went in for an hour, came out. Correct. We stirred it, put it back in an hour, then took it out, put the thickening agent back in the hour. Half an hour later, it's ready to go. Okay. You, at this point, you can cool it down um, and you can pack it away or you can leave it for the following day or you can serve it up straight away. So, well, that's so what there's we're quite just... a bit of prep involved, Dean, but actually, once you get into the oven, it's just it about does its th It does cooking. its thing, exactly. It does its own thing at that point. So here I've got one previously made, and I've just reheated this in a tagine. Okay. Just for presentation purposes, really, more than anything else. But our beef cheeks are now nicely cooked, and I'm going to take them out. Still plenty of sauce there. I'm surprised to There's see how much. Actually. Loads of sauce. There's absolutely plenty. In fact, um, you can keep some of that sauce uh, for later usage as well. It goes very, very well on toast, by the way. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's fabulous. Oh, yeah, very, very nice. It's or a with great... some crusty bread, maybe exactly. as a little dip or something. As, even as a soup. You know, you've got nice. that base for a. a it's same, very similar to the oxtails, uh, as I said before. And you'd end up with basically a, a base for an oxtail soup. Sorry, I just and want to that. clarify, that's not a portion for one person. No, no. <laughs> I, sh I should is, hope not. <laughs> this is a family, this is a family size way where we'd serve. So what I want to do is I want to dish up a little for each of you. Okay. Now Tommy's going to have to come in here because he I'm, needs uh, to... I'm used to getting cheek on this show. <laughs> this is a whole new level of yeah, cheek. Yeah, a whole new level. Exactly. No Simon, still plenty cheek. Uh, and you can see how... It smells Some great, doesn't it? The taste great. test, Tommy. It smells very good. Are you a fan Thank of braised beef cheeks? I've you? had it before, um, and I wasn't sure about it. So okay. this is, like yourselves, great. skeptics. Please, there's an There you go. Guys, You'll see again. how soft it is. Oh, uh, it has a lovely jelly texture to it as well on the inside. Mm. That's from and the tissues. That's, that's mm. from the, the, yeah, exactly, the connective tissues. You don't want to throw them out. You want that taste in it. Okay. Mm. Mm. So... How's that? I told you we were really safe good. in Dean's hands. Mm. Can't go the wrong. master. Yeah. That's very Again. tasty. Very, very delicious. Bring Dean home to, to cook it. Brilliant. But Try it, Laura. Laura Come on. I think, Laura um, has, has to is it on the menu at the Radisson? Uh, it is one of the dishes we're working on at the moment mm. to launch uh, for our new menu. Uh, it's one of the thoughts we've been putting in place. So we've been practicing You will be getting requests all day after that. I, I certainly hope so, yes. It's well worth it. Absolutely delicious.